The Super Bowl received its highest TV ratings ever last night. People across the country continue to discuss the Patriots come from behind win. But here in Beer City, USA, there's also talk about a certain commercial. Bud, uh, Budweiser ran an ad touting itself as making macro beer. News 13's Aaron Adelson spoke with micro breweries today. And how do they feel about this? People I spoke with called the ad an attack. We also questioned the timing. Two weeks ago, Budweiser's parent company announced the purchase of a Seattle craft beer maker, Elysian Brewing. Jobs at Green Man Brewery are hard. Keeping the, uh, the machine well-oiled is the hard part. So employees noticed when a Budweiser ad claimed it's brewed the hard way. They don't make it the hard way. That's a bunch of baloney. That's a ridiculous statement. I mean, it's easy for them. The, the bigger you are, the, the easier it gets. Uh, this is hard the way we do it. In limited space and by hand, Sean Coleman bottles IPAs. Mainly it's uh, being able to keep up with the, uh, the issues that arise on the machine. According to the Brewers Association, in 2013, beer sales went down almost 2%, but craft beer sales went up 17%. People are drinking less Budweiser. I like that one. That's good. Andrew Davidson came from Delaware to enjoy Wicked Weed's craft beer. Uh, it's, I prefer it to Budweiser. Abby Dickinson says Wicked Weed also brews the hard way. The ad was definitely an attack on craft beer. The ad makes fun of people for dissecting craft beer. Dickinson says Wicked Weed brews beer for... Drinking. <laughs> Drinking beer. According to Budweiser, its company owns a 47% share of the U.S. beer market. Greenman calls Anheuser-Busch Superman and describes craft beer as its kryptonite. It certainly is, yeah. The breweries say, in a way, the ad was a compliment, with Budweiser basically acknowledging craft beers are a force in the market. In Asheville, Aaron Adelson, News 13.